Hi, I'm Alec, Technical Sales Engineer here at Instech. We wanted to do just a quick overview of our electrical probing products, how they can be used, and how they can be integrated into your lab. Let's get started. It's simple to use the P02S-PM as they're spring-loaded probers uh, with slotted prober design. Simply lift up the prober uh, and you can drag it forward and backwards with the slotted design allowing you to move in the lateral directions. Uh, when you find your electrical pad, simply drop it down. You can adjust the spring force of this system using this thumb screw here. Uh, just loosen it up to relieve the force on it uh, or tighten it by twisting it the other direction to increase the pressure uh, that this pushes down on the sample. Uh, there's a full range of motion in any direction for the probers um, and you can replace the prober needles with longer ones in order to reach further away areas. The spring-loaded nature of the prober means that we generally use a larger probe tip diameter to reduce pressure on samples. Combined with the manual movement of this sample, uh, it is recommended that you use 250 by 250 micron or larger electrical pad sizes. Electrical connections are brought to coaxial or triaxial connectors to meet uh, any SMU system. It is a very easy, economical, and versatile prober model for use of any kind of university research or for samples where you have large control over your electrical layout. The next step in complexity is our probe mini series. This combines electrical measurements along with temperature and environmental control via our gas tight or vacuum tight lid. It uses the same manual probing positioners whereby a spring loaded mechanism uh, is used to hold the prober down. You can again lift this up, uh, move it all across the sample area until you reach your electrical pad uh, and then place it down. You can adjust the spring force using the thumb screw uh, just as in the uh, previous model. And then, of course, you can put on the lid to perform your temperature control, environmental control, or place it underneath some optical system as needed. This is similar to the P02S-PM, but adds the benefit of thermal control as well as environmental control um, with a large optical access window. It can also be made using totally non-paramagnetic materials for use in our Hall Effect measurement systems and has a low footprint for fitting between magnetic poles or optical microscopes. And finally we have our mini probe station, otherwise known as the Dash MPS series. Uh, this combines thermal control with environmental control, either gas purge or vacuum, uh, with the electrical measurement capabilities of a traditional probe station. This includes micro manipulators that externally can move probers uh, in the X, Y, and Z direction, allowing you fine movement um, across your entire sample you're able to land on exceptionally small pad sizes on the order of microns, um, all underneath the microscope, all in a uh, well-contained uh, environment. Um, you can contact multiple devices during a single experiment and of course um, land on much, much smaller electrical pads when compared to the Dash PM series.